Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Christy. And I'm Sharla. And today we're doing something really different. We are telling you guys about some make ahead desserts that mm -hmm. you can make now and put in the freezer so that when company comes over or when you need to bring something to a potluck or a gathering, you are totally set. You are totally set. Now, I think it's pretty common knowledge that desserts in general, I think, freeze well, They, especially if they're already baked. Um, growing up, my mom was the kind of mom that always had cookies in the mm -hmm. freezer or squares or cakes. Cakes freeze really well. And if, if company came over, she would go down with her tray, with her plate, and then open up four different bags yeah. and, and put them all on the plates and close them all back up and come back. And she would have like a spread of desserts. And my mom, my mom, she was like that <laughs> kind of mom, right? And so I know that they do freeze well, but in my life, desserts don't always get to the freezer. Oh, yes, of course. You have to, and so we're doing this partly to kind of be intentional about it, right? <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, we're assuming that you you can freeze cookies, you can freeze cakes. We're just giving you a few other options that you might not have thought of. No, that's right. So we have some really great different ones today. So let's get to our first recipe here. This first one is so simple. So simple. Frozen Oreo pie. Now, the great thing about this is it's also really versatile because you can make it with mint chocolate chip ice cream and then it can be like mm -hmm. a grasshopper pie. Or you could make it with like a strawberry or, ice or cream. Or raspberry, I'm yes. thinking, with some like, with chocolate or something on it. Mm -hmm. That would be good. That would be summery and like, mm -hmm. oh, or lemon. A lemon. A yeah, mm -hmm. right? And then maybe a little and spoon a little some of lemon curd on it. Exactly, ah! yes. So perfect for summer. Now, the other great thing about this is that you're gonna use half of a container of ice cream to make this. So you might as well double this. Mm -hmm. And then you're using the whole container and you're using the whole thing of Cool Whip. And so then you have two and you could eat one now. Yeah. And then you can have one in your freezer. That's right. So this is great for that. What you're gonna need for this recipe is a pre-made chocolate pie crust or two if you're doubling it. Then you're gonna take your ice cream out of the freezer to soften. We're using Oreo ice cream for this particular recipe, but like I said before, you can use all kinds of different flavors and really play around with this. You're gonna mix three and a half cups of that ice cream with four ounces of Cool Whip in a bowl. So you're just gonna fold that Cool Whip into the ice cream and then you're gonna scoop that into your ready-made crust. And if you wanna really fancy this like three ingredient recipe up, you can sprinkle some chocolate cookie crumbs on top. That's it, that's it. You're gonna put some plastic wrap on top of this and then some foil. You're gonna get that into your freezer and when you go to serve it, you just take it out and slice it into pie slices and you have ice cream pie. Excellent. And it is so good. It, it is. is so good. <laughs> I'm not even a super ice cream person. Neither of us are really super no. ice cream people, but no. we will eat this. Yes. For this next one, I actually got the recipe from this family friend named Sherry when I was in high school and I it was one of those things where I was at her house and had it and I was like I need to know how to make this but it took a lot of years before I was confident enough in my cooking skills to try actually making it but that's how long I've been making this recipe for and so I'm gonna let Christy tell you about this apple crisp because she has also eaten this. I have oh, also eaten very this. Very many occasions. It is very good and I have also been making apple crisp for many years and this is a good recipe. There's only so many variations and this mm -hmm. is a really good one and it does freeze beautifully. We're going to start out with eight apples peeled, cored, and sliced. Now we're filling a 9 by 13 pan. If you have smaller apples you might need a bit more. 
you know, you just kind of have to gauge it because they will shrink a little bit too. But And both of us like to use a variety of a few different kinds of apples when we're doing You know, this. the Granny Smith gives it a kick, but like the Mac Macintosh and the Spartan are actual baking apples. Did you know mm, that? I did. And so my mom would not make this unless she could do it with Macintosh or Spartan apples. Mm. Isn't that funny? And I do Gala and Granny Smith. Yeah, isn't that? But the Granny Smith is nice. It gives that, that little crunch and, yes. and zip in there, which is good. So then we are going to mix together the other ingredients, and it's going to be some brown sugar and some flour, some rolled oats, some melted butter, and some cinnamon. We're going to mix that all together, and then we're going to just spread that evenly over your apples. We're going to cover this with some plastic wrap and then some tin foil and then freeze it. So on the day of cooking, you're gonna take it out and thaw it because, especially if you have a glass dish, because depending on your dishes, maybe if it's Pyrex, it might be able to handle it, but I don't think you can take frozen to oven no. in a glass dish. No, that would that'll crack your dish. be asking for trouble. So if it's in a foil, that's maybe fine. You'll have to increase your time, but you just wanna bake it, 350. I like to do it from thawed for 30 minutes. And then if it's from frozen, maybe increase it to 45 minutes and check it from there. And this is great. And, and this is also a good one to serve with ice cream. Very good with ice cream. And I love making this one in the summer with Saskatoon's instead mm -hmm. of apples or a combination of like apples and rhubarb. Yes. But the Saskatoon, Saskatoon. Saskatoons are a berry that grow here in Alberta, Canada, where we yes. live. And I love them so much that I have a Saskatoon bush outside my door. They're such a Western thing, they named a city after it. <laughs> That's um, true. I think in Ontario they call them service berries. They call them different things it, all over the place. Yes. Yeah. So, And they're not too different from a Haskap if you've mm -hmm. ever had those, and those are a little bit longer. There's somebody that comes to the farmer's market that only has Haskap stuff, and so I bought Haskap syrup last year, and it was really good. So we'll go next week, and it'll maybe be there. We're totally going to the farmer's market next week, because this is like opening week for us, yes. for farmer's market. Now, I have the feeling you might really like this next dessert, but Christy does not. <laughs> so I just, don't really like cheesecake and I, it's okay. There's people there, you're out there. I know you are. <laughs> Cause I found other people in the wild that don't like cheesecake, but it's just, and I like cream cheese. And if it's like savory, I really like it. I'll put it on a bagel any day. But as soon as you add sugar and start whipping it up, it just, yeah, it, <laughs> there's other desserts I like better. It's okay. One of the first times that Christy and her husband came here for dinner, I served this as the dessert, and funny enough, she had told me she didn't like cheesecake, but I was like... Oh, she'll like mine. Oh, she Everybody likes... says that. Everybody said, oh, you'll like my cheesecake. <laughs> no, I won't. Yeah, because I thought you meant, like, you know, the no-bake cheesecakes. I thought maybe it was just like that that texture thing, because some people don't, but... It's because it's like... sweetened. I don't like cream cheese yeah. icing. Like... Red velvet mm -hmm. cupcakes with the cream cheese icing? Forget about it. The cream cheese. carrot cake with the cream cheese Ugh, icing? No. Carrot cake on its own is bad <laughs> enough. And then you put cream cheese icing on it. And I am very upfront about it now because I'm going to tell you the Adam and Katie story. When we first started hanging out with Adam and Katie, good friends of ours, um, we've known them for, oh, 15 years because Katie and I were pregnant with our girls at the same time. And that's when we met. And we invited them over for supper for the first time and they said what can we bring and we're like bring a dessert and and they said well what kind of dessert and i'm like ah anything we eat nuts we're not allergic to anything we like chocolate just bring whatever it's fine they brought cheesecake they stopped at of costco course. and bought brought this beautiful thing of cheesecake and i had this is the first time i met them and i just was polite and i ate the cheesecake and so then the next time we go over to their house, they said, what can we bring? And they said, bring a salad. And then Katie made a cheesecake. And I'm like, all right, don't you anything. <laughs> and I ate it, because I was polite. And then this went on for a while, and there was always the cheesecake, and it was building in me. Because <laughs> I was being dishonest, and I didn't like it. And so we were at a mutual friend's house for like a party, and they walked in the door, and he said, Adam, I have to tell you something. I've been lying to you all these years. I don't like cheesecake. 
and we have to stop at the cheesecake. And he looked at my plate and he said, see you like Caesar salad. We'll make that next. <laughs> and so that is why I am upfront with people that do you, she anything like you cheesecake. don't like. I don't like cheesecake and it's okay that I don't like cheesecake. And then they don't believe me anyway. And they say, but they're going to like mine. <laughs> So That's I did funny. the thing and I was like, I, I, she's going to be like mine and she totally does not. And I'm sure it's delicious. <laughs> I bet you it's amazing. <laughs> I just had gotten so many compliments on it over the years and I'm not a huge dessert person. I don't really like dessert and so I don't often make dessert and I'm way better at cooking than I am at baking. Sure. It just, you know, you kind of usually are one or the other and I'm more of a cook. Yeah. So, after that really big long story, let me get to this recipe. I promise it's probably good. <laughs> so, in your bowl, you're going to mix together two packs of cream cheese, some sugar, and vanilla with your electric mixer. Then you're going to add two eggs and mix that till it's blended. You're going to take out one cup of that cream cheese mixture, and you're going to melt some chocolate chips and mix that in to one of the parts of your cream cheese mixture. Then you're gonna take one of those pre-done chocolate pie crusts and you're gonna pour the chocolate batter in the bottom of that. Then you're gonna spoon the plain batter on top. You're gonna to bake this at 350 degrees for 40 minutes, allow it to cool and you, then you're gonna cover it tightly with foil and freeze it. If you wanna serve this right away because you just can't wait, or if you doubled it so that you can eat one that night and you know, you're gonna freeze the other one, then you need to put this in the fridge and let it kind of sit for at least three hours before you serve it. But if you're just freezing it, you don't need to worry about that step. Now this is especially good with a strawberry or mm -hmm. raspberry sauce. That I can get behind. Yes, yeah. because raspberry and chocolate, oh, like, I know. and that pie crust, it mm. kind of like the raspberry soaks in if you've got any left at the end. It's just really good. You know what else is really good about this recipe? Is if you've had company, and you serve it the night before, and there's just like one or two slices left, this is really good for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so is the apple crisp. Oh, yeah. in like, I have eaten apple pie for breakfast every time I've had an apple pie. Like, there's just no, it's like eating pizza for breakfast. You just wake up and you see it there. You, you no, made a face. No, no, you can't. no, no pizza. But yes to apple crisp or apple pie because I mean it's apples. It's apples. You're like, like eating apple sauce and, and it's oatmeal. Yeah, yeah, like I mean this is breakfast. This is breakfast. Like you pretty much you could have this at a brunch and I wouldn't look at you sideways. Like Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, you're right. This would be great. Oh, this is now I'm ready for dessert. So today we've talked about Make ahead desserts, which is really kind of a departure from our usual like main courses. But this will help you get ready for drop in company anytime. And we're gonna put a video right there to some make ahead appetizers. So then oh, you, you can will look really so be ready. put together. Oh my oh, yeah. goodness. Like somebody stops by last minute and you're like, hey, I'll just whip up these. Oh, that Charla, she's always so organized. <laughs> It's true. Oh, that Christy, she's just running around with a chicken with her head cut off. I have some granola bars. No. No, no, no. This is the way to do it. This is how this is how my mom did it. She always looks so put together. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time. Happy cooking.